Professor Allen here, and I'm going to be doing a brief PowerPoint presentation for you discussing Newberry College BSRT program, starting well and ending well. And the purpose behind here is to help you understand how to tie all the courses together with purpose so that you can be successful when you get to the end of the program. Preparing for success. In order to prepare for success, you need to understand where you're going. And so you need to develop a clear picture of your destination. And that's the same thing uh, with anything that you're doing in life. Um, not just education, we could say that you're gonna take a trip and you're gonna go, uh, um, to, you're gonna go to Universal in Florida. Well, wherever you live, you're gonna have to have a destination in mind. I wanna go to Universal. So then you have a mental picture of where you're starting from and then where you want to go now depending on your knowledge base you might have to do additional research to be able to make that journey from where you are now to universal that's the same thing here develop a clear picture picture of the bsrt program where are you starting and where do you want to end same thing with each course at the beginning of the course, you're going to have student learning outcomes, course learning outcomes. Identify those because when you identify what those are, your instructor, me, Dr. J, or whomever, should help you learn or guide you towards learning the material so that you can achieve those student learning outcomes for that module and that course. When you put them all together, when you put all your student learning module uh, learning outcomes together, that's going to be a module learning outcome. When you put all your module learning outcomes together, which comprise of the student learning outcomes, that's your course learning outcomes. You take all the course learning outcomes and you compile them together, that's your program learning outcomes. If your program is set up appropriately, your program learning outcomes should help your student reach the destination that they desire, and that is obtaining the knowledge necessary to earn their BSRT. In order to do that, you need to understand the four W's, and this is my take on this. First one is, where am I going? Second, what needs to be done? Third, when does it need to be done? And fourth, why does it need to be done? Those are important questions. The why, for me, is very important. I like to know that there's purpose behind what I'm doing besides just earning a grade or getting a degree. There is purpose in each of the learning modules and each of the courses, as well as each of the courses as it relates to expanding your respiratory knowledge so that you will not only have the BSRT, you're gonna be thinking at a higher level as a BSRT in your practice. So that's gonna take uh, you learning the process. First thing you need to do is identify each of the course and program deliverables. Now a deliverable is the assignments that are gonna be graded, the things that you're gonna be submitting for grades. Um, you don't get graded for your readings and watching videos, but that's part of what you need to do. But you will be graded on your discussion posts. You will get graded on quizzes, as well as activity papers and final course summative projects. Well, you all have very busy lives like all of us. And to add another responsibility on top of what you already have to do is going to require scheduling your time and developing a routine. Once you get into the routine of what's expected and when it's expected, things will move and flow much more smoothly. So Mondays, you're going to want to watch you're going to want to open up your course, uh, say it's RES 310 or whatever course you're taking. Go ahead and open up the news and announcements. See what's coming from your instructor. Check also your email. Then go right to the course and look at the coursework. Depending on your module, if it's module one, look, a bit, look what it says. You know, a course overview or assignment overview, your readings, your lecture material. Then it's going to talk about your discussion posts. You know that they're going to be due on Thursday night by 11.55 p.m. And that you're going to also have to respond to two other students in your 
cohort or your group by Sunday night, 1155. So you know that that's a, something that's required. The next assignment that's going to be due is either a quiz or and or uh, an activity paper. Those are typically going to be due by Sunday night, 1155 p.m. Those instructions are written out in detail underneath that tab. And if you have questions about that, that's what you need to go ahead and make sure that you're talking to your, your instructor and getting clarification before it's too late. So Monday and Tuesday, doing the readings and getting an overview of what the deliverables are for that week. Then you're going to make sure that you're prepared to do the discussion post and activity paper and or quiz. If you have questions, then you have to go to the third thing on this list on the bottom left hand side. Identify the method of communication and the frequency. How do you identify? How do you communicate with your instructor? How do you communicate with other people in the course? Do that. It's really important. And then the last thing here on the bottom right hand side, it says identify courses, uh, the course format. Let me see if I can't move that so that you can see. Identify course format and the theme progression. That's really important. How are the courses formatted? We use the same format for the most part in all of the courses. So early on, there's a big learning curve. But once you've had and mastered that learning curve, each of the following courses is going to follow that same format and it becomes easier. That means that you're going to be able to establish that routine more effectively and apply it. You're going to know how to communicate with your instructor and the frequency or your fellow classmates. And then what is the theme progression? And that's the purpose of another purpose for this uh, PowerPoint presentation today. And that is how does everything tie together? Well, again, I said start well to end well, preparing for your final capstone project. Well, there's a couple of things here I want you to do. Dr. Allawine wants you to make sure that in this first course, you're identifying a personal topic. OK, um, Dr. J gives an example here uh, and I'm going to click on it in a little bit. But you want to identify a personal topic and you're going to take that personal topic and you're going to apply that topic to each of your courses and the final course project. Each of those final course projects are going to be related to the personal topic that you've identified. And when you finally get to RES 410, the very last course in our program, that's called the capstone course, Dr. Allawine and you will be able to develop your final course project and relate each of the courses and that final course project to your capstone project. Your capstone project, well, this is a, a culmination of the program. And by the end of the course, the RES 310 course, you should have established your personal topic. You're going to apply that topic to your end of course project. And then you're going to do that for each course. And then a successful course, I mean, pardon me, a successful capstone project is going to be demonstrated by a thorough knowledge of the tactic or focus in a particular focus area that you've identified. So what is going to be the capstone project goal? Well, the capstone project goal is that it is the, the, you're able to demonstrate um, a documented expansion of a knowledge base uh, that's related to respiratory care as it relates to a particular topic that you've identified. To the right-hand side here, you can see this is Dr. J's uh, RES 410 capstone course application guide. And he walks through this for you. And he goes from 310 all the way to 410. And see in 310, it says, by the end of this course, you should have established your topic using your summative or final course project from 310. And you would identify ethical dilemmas, 
challenges and or issues that may be present within a pathology or your topic that you are going to explore. In, 3, in 312, Educational Theory and Practice, you're gonna identify the education, communication, and assessment that needed to be explored and uh, to be applied for your capstone topic that you've chosen. Uh, RES 314, Pharmacology and Disease Management, you're gonna be using the pathology established in your capstone project, and you're gonna outline and define the pharmacological interventions uh, used in the treatment, um, the maintenance and or prevention uh, associated with symptoms to that pathology related to your topic. Uh, 321 is advanced airway management, and you're again going to apply the uh, your chosen topic, your personal topic, and you're going to apply it for each of the courses. 321, 330, advanced critical care monitoring, 331, nutritional care, 333, emergency and disaster management, uh, 401, advanced pathophysiology and critical care, 402, community health and rehab, and then you have applied disease management. That's going to be get very close towards the end, and this is where uh, your capstone project is going to be further explored, and you're going to identify the assessment outcomes, and you're going to help develop protocols that are applicable to that disease process that relates to your personal chosen topic. Then you're going to end up being in Dr. Allawine's class, and that is RES 410, and that is the Respiratory Therapy Capstone Project. And it talks in specifics here. Experience within a chosen area of focus, pediatric, neonatal, adult care, trauma, management, or education. That's where you're going to be focusing. This course is the culmination of the BSRT program. And a successful capstone project is vested in the research effort that demonstrates thorough knowledge of a tactic within a focus area that you've chosen. The intent is documented expansion of the body of knowledge within respiratory care. Now, you can see to the left-hand side, I cut, copy and pasted right there to the left-hand side. Over here, all of that same information. I want to stress the importance of identi identifying your personal topic as early on as possible. And our goal is in RES 310, and then to use each of the courses to support your knowledge development for that particular focal area that you're going to uh, expand upon in 403 and 410. Hopefully this is making some sense. You can see I've just uh, amplified or magnified each of these target areas. For the course, uh, this is just a copy and paste of what Dr. J gave us in that original document. And again, I cannot stress enough for you to spend time looking at where you're going and why you're going there, okay? Look at your courses, communicate with your instructors. If you have questions, Dr. J and I are here to work with you. And the most important thing I can tell you is to enjoy the learning process. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to let me or Dr. Allawine know. Have a great day, and I'll see you in Wolfden.